going to build this nav that has images positioned to the left of the text. And this is totally built with Flexbox modules. So our boxes are all set to the Flex display property. And I'll just do a quick rundown in the outline panel. The outermost container is a parent container that contains both the music notes on the left as well as the nav items. The music notes child container has flex grow property one. Now because the child container that contains our nav item has the flex grow property to the default zero, that means that the music note container is told to take up all the space that it possibly can. And if we click over here on this child container that contains all our nav items, we see that there's no entry here for flex grow. So that means that they're only gonna take up as much space as they need to. They're not gonna grow at all. And then this container over here also has children. And each of these children contains a photo module and a text module. We have the align set to center for both horizontal and vertical. And gap is set to six. And I think all the other settings are just the default settings. Now let's go ahead and build this now from scratch. Okay, so we start with the outermost Flexbox container, and then this box has two children. One of them contains the music notes on the left, and the other one contains all the nav items on the right. So the container that has the, the music notes is gonna be set to Flex Grow 1. That's done here under sizing and placement. And that's gonna tell that container on the left to take up all the available space. Our right side container that's gonna have our nav items over there is set to the default zero, which means only take up the space that you need to for the content that I put inside of you, and no more than that. All right, let's get our little music note logo in here, and let's get this down to an appropriate size. That looks good. All right, let's get started putting together our nav. So I'm just gonna put one nav container in here. Then I'm gonna put the content inside of it. I'm gonna align center both horizontal and vertical and take down the gap a little bit. I remember that was at six on our reference layout. And thanks to the box module, this is a super easy layout to put together. We're just gonna drop in a photo module. I'm gonna make this a, a little smaller here. The next step is our text module. I'm going to add in our text and I'm going to stylize our text. There's a little default march in here around the paragraph text, so Here's a CSS snippet that takes that off. It can center up the way it should. Now we can just duplicate this a bunch of times and replace the, the photos and text. And that's not gonna be something very interesting to you, so I'm gonna fast forward through this portion. Okay, let's take a look at our reference demo and see how this compares. I'm not trying to get this to look exactly the same, but some of the key points that I missed, I need to change the background color and I need to make the layout full width on this row.
Now we're just gonna finish this up real quick. So I have the body placeholder content here saved on my site as a saved row. Let's take a look at how this looks in the responsive editor. Make a few little adjustments to this so that it looks better on small screen sizes. So I think I'm going to take this outside parent container and I'm going to make it column direction on medium screen sizes and that's going to consequently also change it on small. And I think I'll also align this uh, logo, the music notes logo center. So these nav items seem to look okay on medium. Let's see how they look on small. and they fall off the screen. So we're just gonna change this to um, column direction as well. And then I'm gonna align them all left. So that's one of the cool things about the box module is the types of things that you can do with responsive designs. Well, I think this is a good stopping point. I'm gonna wrap up this demo now. Thanks so much for joining me.